Hi again, everyone. I'm 2 News Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony here on the eve of the long holiday weekend, the unofficial start of summer. And there's a lot going on. A lot of folks have a lot of plans, and we're talking about rain in the forecast. So hopefully here, over the next couple of minutes, I'll be able to help you plan out that weekend and kind of judge when we'll be in some rainy periods and when we could see some drier periods. First of all, what's going to impact our entire weekend is this big, slow-moving low. And Watch what I mean by a slow moving low. So we start on Friday, we put the map into motion, we go into Saturday, the low is still near Denver. We go into Sunday, the now the low pressure area still over the northern plains around Billings, Montana, and Memorial Day, it's still just meandering around the northern plains. So it's a slow mover and it has a lot of moisture to work with. It's pulling in Pacific moisture, it's pulling in Gulf moisture, and on top of that, there will be these little disturbances that will move around through this U-shaped area here. This U-shaped area here we call trough. So these little disturbances move around the main storm and bring us rain chances. What do I mean by that? Watch this. So Friday, there's a little area of rain that moves by. And then you go into Saturday and you've got another area of rain, particularly in the morning and perhaps another one in the afternoon. Or we could just see one in the afternoon and I'm uh, I believe it'll be more likely a little bit of rain in the morning and then more Saturday night so at 10 p.m. you can see a hefty amount of rain moving through here some thunderstorms at that time then look at that did you see what moves up out of Texas another one of those disturbances comes moving out of Texas and we're looking at some heavy rainfall maybe some severe thunderstorms Sunday afternoon and that moves up into the Kansas City area and then we clear out for Memorial Day maybe a little bit of rain early uh, Monday morning. So here's how I think this breaks down this weekend. Saturday morning, 40% chance of rain. So those are scattered showers. Sunday afternoon or Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, 60% chance of rain. So a better chance right there. Then Sunday, in Monday into Sunday afternoon, a 90% chance of rain. So if you were going to plan indoor activities, it would be right here. Sunday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. That looks like an all day rain. But then Monday, the chance of rain is in the morning up until the early afternoon. There's only about a 30% chance of rain in the afternoon. That's a 70% chance that it's not raining Memorial Day afternoon. So here's the forecast. Friday, rain likely, middle part of the day, but the morning should be dry, evening should be dry. Saturday, a morning round of rain, and again, late afternoon or Saturday night, otherwise dry and humid, breezy, 78. On Sunday, 73, rain and thunder all day, some of it heavy, and maybe a severe thunderstorm on Sunday. And then Memorial Day, a little bit of rain, a 30% chance of rain in the afternoon, but really warm and humid should be the theme for Memorial Day. So hopefully that helps you plan. Thanks for stopping by KJRH.com. Have a happy and safe Memorial Day holiday weekend.